Okay, so forgive me if you hear the background noise of the fans and all that. Um, the first Descendant crossplay open beta was, uh, I think it's ending. As you can see, the notification is popping up in the game that um, thanking the players for playing the open beta. And I am wrapping up the the sterile island. I believe I'm in like the last little bit of the, of the quest line trying to unlock Kyle who's basically Magneto meets Iron Man, if you get my drift. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about my impressions of the crossplay beta, apart from the first beta that they had, I think back in October of 2022, or it was in 2022, I played the first beta. So I feel like this beta was a success. You know, they allowed you know players across various platforms to uh, play together. Um, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, or PC via Steam. And, you know, I've recently played with uh, some friends and some associates that had uh, the game on those other uh, consoles. And um, it was a pretty overwhelmingly good uh, experience as far as that goes. I didn't have any connectivity problems, personally. Uh... I think the gameplay itself is pretty, you know, straightforward. You know, it's a shooter slash uh, the characters have their abilities that they can use that contribute to team fights that help you achieve your goals and defeat monsters. There's a variety of enemies. Some have shields. Most of them is just, you know, you know, you just run up to them and shoot them and uh, kill them. But the other ones, they have shields where you have to like dive into the shields and um in order to do damage to them you have other ones that uh that kind of make like a tether that s prevents you from using your abilities you probably see some of those uh momentarily because i've been running into those a lot in this particular uh beta um there are some enemies that you know, they set themselves on fire and they get close to you and blow up. They, you know, just have a variety of enemies that make the game a little bit more challenging. I don't know if they're going to do what else they could do, but that's what I experienced in this particular beta. Now, outside of the gameplay, um, which I can't really tell the difference between the first beta and this one. It's, it's pretty the same. I don't know if they improved on anything or not, but it, it, it feels the same. So if they did anything, add anything else, it was very minuscule. Uh, the weapons, apart from the first, the first beta, were um, very powerful. <laughs> uh, as, as you can see, the beam weapon I'm using right now just completely wipes these guys out. And... I like how the fact that when you create a new character or when you get it, unlock a new character, excuse me, um, the weapons are still able to be used by them, or at least in my experience, uh, from what I remember. You know, I remember um, having Ajax at, I would say, level 31, unlocking Bunny, which is a character that in the first beta you didn't have to unlock the character. She was just available to you, and in this one they, they make you unlock her. But um, the guns, even though they may be of higher level, a, a, another character can use them. And the characters they they begin at level one, so they can basically start off with like higher power weapons, higher powered weapons than their level may allow. So that's helpful. Considering that since you already have to grind and get their levels up, get their mastery levels up, which go towards making your character stronger, it's good to know that you have weapons that can basically aid in that. You know, you don't have to necessarily grind to use weapons. You know, the kits and everything basically remain the same. Or at least that's what they did in this beta. Um... Uh, getting back to the characters they introduced now again I did not play the second beta um, 
they had, I think, one or two betas before this one. And I didn't get a chance to play those. But I played the very first one. And the characters, if they got introduced in the, in the previous betas, uh, I don't know. So to me, they, they got introduced in this one. So the new characters in this beta is Kyle, which I can pretty much show you. Like in the first beta, let me see. In the first beta, they had Ajax, they had Bunny, they had Lepic, uh, Vice Visia, Ultimate Lepic. knock out the one that originally had the tether. Take them out. Alright. So in this game, we'll get back to this. First beta, you started off with Ajax, Bunny, Lepic, Vesa. I don't remember her being unlocked in the first one. I, I could be wrong, but then again, it's been forever. Um, and, and Ultimate Lepic, those were the ones that were available. Um, Javer, I don't remember him being available in the first one. Maybe he got a, uh, available. He became available in like the ones after that. Uh, Freyna, I think she was available in the first one as well. Glay, I know she was available. Ultimate Vesa, she's new to this beta. Uh, Sharon, she's new. Blair, he was in the first one. I didn't unlock him though. Volby, she uses water. And Kyle, who uses magnetism. Uh, Sharon, Sharon, uses, Sharon uses blades, things of that nature. To, uh, you know, blades and swords, showing off the moves there. Camouflage. Ultimate throws little knives and skewers everybody. So, those are the characters that they brought into this beta. And I was in the process of unlocking Kyle because I didn't play the game for a couple days. Um, and silly me, I didn't even look up when the beta was over, so I completely s screwed the pooch on that one. But for what I've experienced this was a good game. I hope th there is one issue I do have with it. Uh, again, I mentioned in this game that you have to unlock Bunny, who is a speedster. She's like the, f the fast character, basically. Um, she uses lightning. Now, in the very first beta, I don't remember having to unlock her. She was already unlocked for you to use. And in this game, you had to unlock her. But the issue with that feature is that what they don't tell you is that so when you reach a certain point you're able to go to the void right you're able to go to the void and you're able to fight you're able to fight uh, the grave walker who's like the first void monster that you have the uh, access to, to to fight and you need to beat him in order to get the amorphic um I forgot the name of the item, but it's called the Amorphic something. But basically, it's like a steel ball that holds the bunny code, which is the final piece to actually unlocking Bunny herself. Now, what the game doesn't tell you is that in order for you to get the bunny code and unlock it, you have to go to the results screen and basically click on the item. For you to get the bunny code out of it doesn't tell you that right away like it doesn't not, not right away it doesn't tell you that at all so a lot of people including myself was very confused about how this was supposed to happen 
or how you're supposed to unlock her because they would do all the other side quests to get her and then or it's committed they would do all the quests to get her and then that final piece it just seemed like you couldn't get it and so that's something that i wish they would fix that you know when whenever you beat a void creature uh, be it the grave walker or, or any of the other ones that you may need in order to get the codes from from them um like they really have to fix that to where you're able to unlock it even back at uh the headquarters of out of uh of all beyond which pretty much is the home base uh for you and the other players but outside of that one right i don't really have one i really don't oh i'm lying there is one i mean being that i didn't stream the game or play it on on video there is actually a here let me turn this down because i'm pretty sure y'all can't hear me that good i'm so sorry There's a some beast, like I believe it was like the second boss that I faced from. It wasn't from Kingston. It was from the. Uh, it was in the Sterile Land, but it, it was the first boss room that you brought boss room, but the first boss area that you go against. I can't remember the creature name, but he has an immunity shield, and you have to keep attacking the shield. Or at least that's what I thought I was supposed to do in order to break it to um, to do damage to him. And you know I lost a couple times, but they never explained it like exactly how to beat him. It's like you have to guess. sidetracked I don't want to beat this before hopefully I'm able to beat it before they shut the game down generating so fast.
But another thing that I like, they introduced, or at least to me they did, in this beta, the um, some gold weapons. I, I never gained access to them when I played the game previously. So in this one, I did get it. Um, and they're, they're pretty damn strong. I also hope that they don't delete the progress of the players who played the beta. Because it will be so much of a headache to have to redo all this all over again. Even though it wouldn't be tough. It's just still like, you know, you do all this work. Um, you would like to think that they held on to it. But, of course, last time I checked, this game doesn't have an official release date yet. Uh, possibly sometime in 2024 they'll be ready to launch it but uh, as of right now this game does not have an official release date and I am completely fine with that as long as they just do the game justice so I do enjoy or rather I did enjoy playing this uh as much as I could again I hope at least some of the progress transfers over to where you don't lose so much um, progress because I will at, at the very least I would like to keep the characters that are unlocked and keep the level of my main character Ajax and the weapons and everything that I have I would like to keep those the, uh, the items and all that um, I'm trying to keep my hopes up that they don't, you know what I'm saying, delete progress. But it's no telling what changes they're going to do to it. So, who knows. But, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, now I do remember this part from the pr from the first beta. I do remember this story. Like this looks familiar. Uh, it seems like they changed things up a little bit as far as the task that you have to get. I don't even think the sterile land was available in the first beta. do very much enjoy it so let's go over there see whatever last little bit of things we can do definitely want to get that mastery up First, let's head to I kind of normally skip these because they're just going to tell you where to go anyway. So, 
It doesn't really bother me that much. Yeah, plus, I don't want the video to be long. This uh, quest. Yeah, I don't think I have to play this anymore necessarily to... to the guide in Albion. I don't know if this is going to go towards another Void Walker. Colossi. Forgive me if I'm going too fast. I really don't care for all this dialogue like the story of this thing really don't matter to me unless it's like the cutscenes basically what they telling me is that I'm finna go fight another void monster or that I've gained access to unlocking another void battle Talking too much. I'm, I really might skip this. Oh, there we go. How did your meeting go with an ace? I've been told it's nothing serious, but I don't think we have any guarantees. But there's nothing we can do for now. And she's Let's talk about another matter. Jeremy reported that a new Iron Heart has been discovered. To counsel, I want you to go to the Vespers and give them. Talk to Jeremy in the outpost. Okay, so this is a new area. I have not unlocked any of these, and I'm pretty sure people didn't went far and beyond what. Um, I'm able to do right now so I mean it is what it is I've made it to I made it this far and I'm satisfied with that um, I'm level 36 I'm gonna get Jeremy sooner or later but I pretty much just wanted to get my um, give my opinions on the the close uh, the, the open cross play beta and just give my thoughts on it so oh look it's one of them interactive emotes so that was dope this is cool but yeah No. 
Yeah, so that was my opinion on the open on the open crossplay beta. I can't wait till this full game gets released officially. Um, I don't think they need to add like a player versus player element to it. I think that'll be a bit much. Um, though I do think they will do it, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Uh, but I, I I do enjoy what I what I got to play. And I can't wait to see what's next for the first descendant. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you ever get a chance to play a game, please enjoy it. It is something to look forward to. And ADS Play 101, I'm out.